Evening VC, Dave here again. Um, so I realized today is uh, Lee Morgan's birthday. Um, a great trumpeter uh, from Philadelphia. Um, he made his way to New York. Um, became a great in the Blue Note stable. Um, a great sideman, a great leader. Um, and yeah, so early on when I got into jazz, start to pick out some of the players that you know you gravitate to and that's who you seek out well Lee Morgan was the first I was like okay anything Lee Morgan I need to get it and so I tried to find as many of his records as I could there's still quite a few that I don't have um I have a good bit but I don't you know I don't know if I've ever shown my Lee Morgan collection I may have years back but I've got a few more now so I figured what the hell we'll we'll run through these just you know, to honor the man. Um, and the first record I have is interesting. I believe it was, it was on a different label, and I can't remember the label, but uh, his first record introducing, um, his first record as a leader. Uh, I have a BYG copy of what's called Hank's Shout, which is the same record, but just a French version of it. Very interesting. So this is Hank Mobley, Hank Jones, Doug Watkins, and Art Taylor. So very early stuff here. Then we get into the Blue Note catalog here right away. Um, of course, this is the uh, volume two, I believe, is what this one is. And um, yeah, nice uh, 33 and 3 micro groove uh, Japanese pressing. Um, I think I did a feature on this one in one of the Blue Note projects. I got another one coming up, but I better check on it <laughs> um, with Steven. Um, um, yeah, volume three. Again, uh, this is uh, one of those Japanese pressings, audiophile quality, fantastic stuff. Uh, early Lee. This one's a fairly hard record to get a hold of now. Uh, City Lights. Uh, this is a stereo copy of this. Um, Liberty Press. Um, yeah, this is Curtis Fuller, the, who just passed recently on trombone, uh, featured on this one too. Great record. Uh, this is the one I need to get to in the 1500 series project, uh, Candy. Not not my favorite record of his, but um, Sonny Clark on piano, Doug Watkins bass, our Taylor drums, a solid lineup, nonetheless. Blue Note 1590 Candy. Uh, this is, I can't remember what kind of reissue this is, but uh, not a record you you ever see in the bins. Um, that's for sure. Expensive if you find an original. Um, everybody's favorite, uh, the cooker, and it does cook. It's couldn't be named any better. Um, I got this copy from, uh, who did I get this from? Oh, the old man up in Pittsburgh, um, Jerry from Jerry's Records. Talked to him on the phone. One of the highlights of my collecting. Um, yeah, this is insanely good. Um, one of his best, for sure. Uh, this one is no slouch. Uh, Leeway, with Jackie McLean, um, featured on this one. This one's also not as easy to find anymore. Leeway. Anything is in order of release. Uh, this one is one that's kind of slept on still, I think. Uh, Take 12 on uh, Jazzland. This is a fantastic record. Um, yeah. This is uh, an OJC copy. Um, and then we got a... Uh, the Legendary of the Sidewinder, which I believe I did a Blue Note Project video for. Um, with Joe Henderson, iconic session. Uh, my favorite Lee Morgan record, Search for the New Land, where he went in a new direction. Um, that actually was recorded prior to some of these others, um, but got held back. Um, you know, Wayne Shorter on tenor, Herbie Hancock, Reggie Workman. This is a thing of beauty. Uh, 
definitely my favorite league record. Um, uh, the Rump Roller, another one with Joe Henderson. This one's a pretty solid record. I think I did a feature on this one too. Uh, another Blue Note, uh, Delightfully. Um, another one that doesn't pop up much. Joe Henderson again, McCoy Tyner on piano. Yeah, interesting pressing of that. Uh, Cornbread, um, a lot of people's favorite. Jackie McLean, Hank Mobley here on this one. I was with Blue Note a long time. The Gigolo, Wayne Shorter, Billy Higgins on this one. Caramba. I really dig this one because this one's got this one's got Benny Maupin. Um, very cool tracks here. And we're still with Blue Note. Uh, later in the Blue Note catalog, the Sixth Sense is very good record as well. A little underrated this one. Jackie McLean, Cedar Walton, good record. Um, Charisma, another one with Jackie and Hank. Dig the cover on this one. All blue notes. And then probably my second favorite Lee Morgan record, Live at the Lighthouse in Hermosa Beach, California. This is all kinds of fire. Um, yeah, after Search for the New Land, this is probably my second favorite. Uh, the Memorial Album. Which is uh, got kind of kind of some greatest hits here. Um, got this on uh, this Trip Jazz label, which was a total mafia front label, one of a kind. Um, yeah, sidelong piece. Mia Felia is kind of a interesting one with Harold Mayburn, uh, Jamie Merritt, Mickey Roker, Billy Billy Harper on tenor. Um, there's something up with this record too as far as the lineup I don't know if maybe Billy Harper wasn't even really on it yeah some, something's up with this one it's a some kind of weird like I said it's on trip jazz um, interesting record and then let's see oh yeah the procrastinator this is great stuff stuff that uh, had never gotten released um, Bobby Hutcherson, Herbie Hancock, Julian Priester in these sessions. This is really, really good if you can find this one of those Blue Note two first. And last but not least, on the Blue Note classics with these awful covers, I have Sonic Boom. Uh, there's a few more of his records on the Blue Note classics, um, like Tomcat, and there's another one that I've never been able to find. These, these are not, these don't really kind of pop up like they used to. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't have, um, I forget, there's two on the VJ label that I don't have, or the early Lee stuff that I'd love to find. Those are expensive as hell and usually trashed. Um, and then those later Blue Note classics, I need those. But that's about it as far as Lee as a leader. So it's, there's a lot here uh, to digest uh, whenever you need to get into Lee. But, uh, yeah, happy birthday to the man. Um, of course, he was taken away from everybody uh, prematurely. Um, but, yeah, fantastic musician, and that's, that's the deal. Peace.